Well, hello out there, all our fans, our many, many, many fans. All 46 of you. <laughs> <laughs> of the misadventures of Tim and Sin's toy hunts. So, what we have today is uh, blind bags. Sin got, this is the first time that we've actually ever found these ones. Usually what we come across are the horror and pop. Well, sci-fi horror pop. Sci the sci-fi horror one was an absolute fluke. Like, as soon as we saw it at, I, I think it was Target or Walmart or I think something. It was Walmart. Like, I just snagged them all. I think except for one. So, we have the superhero blind bag, which Tim is going to open up since he's obviously like, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the gamer bag one because, like... She's a gamer more yeah, than me. Yeah. And all of these bags were found at our local Best Buy. Best Buy. So if you don't know, they're actually starting to sell toys there. NECA. I'm not even going to tell you the price, but it's worth. But they got NECA. They got Marvel. They got... Yes. Blind uh, bags. Blind bags. <laughs> uh, Pops. Um, the Arcade 1-Up. Oh, yeah. They got Arcade 1-Up. Yeah. If, if, if that's in your budget. <laughs> <laughs> So, go to your local Best Buy, check them out. Not all the Best Buys are selling the toys, uh, like the NECA and stuff. Yeah. But and, uh, and You can always go on the website. Go yes. onto the Best Buy site, and you can order some off of that. But that yes. one is a little bit risky, because some of them are random. So, uh, take your chance at your own risk. Yeah. <laughs> just, just go to your Best Buy. So, Tim's going to start first with the superhero blind bags. Each one are $10 each, and they claim to have a value of over $25. Yeah. Let's see if it's worth it. Let's we did see. the pulp culture bags. They are worth it. We did the horror sci-fi bags. Not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see about the superhero ones. We've already tore we them already open. We already tore them open, so we can just jump right yes. into it. So, we're gonna open, I'm opening this one. Okay, that's empty. Okay. So let's see. First, what is this? So, first of all, we have this Batman Black, Black and White, uh, which is a comic series slash. They also have um, statues. Mm. So they're like one tenth statues, I believe. So I have right here is the Boom. Like, uh, you know, they're punching or blowing something up, like uh, the old 60s show. So we got a blind bag within a blind bag. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> Let's uh, see if it's worth it. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Let me... there Let's we rip go. it. There we go. And let's see. So we have a mini <laughs> uh, black and white Batman, which is pretty cool. Okay. The actual statues are a little bit bigger than that. I've, cool, I've actually thought about collecting that line, but then they also started out with uh, red, white, and black, mm. which is the Harley Quinn line. Anything else in there? No, I thought I was just trying to fold it to see. Uh. And of course, we got some socks, some Fred Flintstone socks. And mine. And Sin always says, I have some Fred Flintstone He feet. does! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not showing you guys because that's a... <laughs> little extra <laughs> it's fans only yeah or only fans <laughs> so that we got that and then we have some kind of a bookmark some kind of anime bookmark oh, that's cool so we got that out of so it was a blind bag within a blind bag within a blind bag <laughs> it wasn't too bad no not mm. too shabby i do like this i think that's pretty cool okay so you want to keep that in here i'll, I'll keep that okay so here's that. Go ahead and you open yours. One of yours. Okay. So we move this off to the side. So here is the gamer blind bag. This one is a little bigger. There's something here is squishy. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Sin was filling them all up just to see what she I can was. make sure they weren't all the same. I think I did good. So. This is a luggage tag from the video game Castlevania. Oh, you ever played so, Castlevania? Uh, I have, actually. So, but you notice I don't play or talk about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not too bad. I mean, 
the video game was pretty, pretty okay. Um, I think I will go ahead and make use of this because I do fly out to Texas to visit my family. But so, see, you know what else is cool is the cartoon, Castlevania the cartoon. That's actually pretty cool too. It's like animated yeah. style, uh, anime style, but it's really cool. It's down the line of the Belmont um, line, so. Okay. Trevor Belmont. Pull two of these out. Let's see. Okay, so this Fallout. is the pin from the Loot Crate from Fallout. And this one is just from Loot Crate Gaming. It's a collectible pin. Um, it looks like it's something Tim would want, but I know he doesn't want pins. Yeah, I don't do pins, but this it's is... It's like a Grim Reaper behind a, a brick wall. No, I think this is a... I think this is Castlevania. Well, yeah. I think that's a Castlevania um, enamel pin. And this is the last thing. This is what I was feeling that was squishy. What you got there? I think these are oven mitts. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. One Tim, of the, Tim are, doesn't cook, so. What are they called? Uh, uh, the silicone oven Yeah. Mitts? Oh, I thought it was like your... That, that one of those, uh, whatever that Jaws thing was that you got last time on one of your oh. bags. Oh, yeah. no. This is one of those little things you put your fingers in it, like lo lobster claw. Oh, it's oh. A, that's a puppet. It is not a puppet. Yeah, it's, it's a puppet. <laughs> okay, watch. La, la, la. You're fired. I help you get it out of the <laughs> oven. La, la, la. La, la. Is that how my oven mitts talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's actually pretty cool, too. Are you going to keep that? Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Yes. <laughs> I will make use of this for when I go this summer to visit my family. And then I, I, I don't know. I'll probably hang on to these. I have a lanyard, a gaming lanyard. Mm. I can put these on. So, all right. Next. next. So I'll just grab this one. Whoa, almost lost my tea there. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's empty. Okay. All right, so what do we have here? Shauna Bell Blazer. Coffee sleeves. Oh, so these are to keep your coffee so from me... burning your hand. Yeah. That's a WWE coffee sleeve. So there we go right there. Loot Crate, because uh, Loot Crate does do WWE. Yep. It's called the Slam Crate. So you get two of these in your in this bag. So it's probably like a silicone one too. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Okay. So you got jacked. Okay, I don't. <laughs> and then this right here. It looks like we got stuff from WWE in this yeah, bag. Yeah, this is a W. Oh no, not all of it. So this is a uh, Bray Wyatt. The Fiend Bray Wyatt Coaster Set. I know someone who would probably want this. Theodore Jenkins. Theodore Jenkins. Let's see, how many do you get? Yeah. Two. Oh, and they're different. Let me in! And what does that say? yo we how we woo we I don't know. But, yeah. There we go right there. They're, um... Plastic or some kind of uh, PVC. It's, it's definitely not uh, yeah. silicone. But yeah, two of them. Cool. Right on. That is a pretty cool image, but I'm not into the wrestling thing. So. Yeah, you're trying to give my stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> you could sell it to Theodore Jenkins. <laughs> Along with the Theodore Jenkins! Things. You want to buy it? <laughs> I know you're dollars. out there watching it. <laughs> Without subscribing, sucker. Oh, got called out, fool. Oh. <laughs> so that's that. And then we also got some pins, loop crate pins. We got uh, Transformers, which is... I just want to hold that. Mm -hmm. uh, Soundwave. Ooh, it is Transformers. So we got Soundwave. 
um, what is it, a, a, a enamel pin. That's all these pins are usually are, mm -hmm. enamel pins. So that's oh, that, and then that one is Deadpool. It's the Deadpool ones. I love that. This will go with the ones I got from Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because you, you know, Disneyland. Marvel, Disney. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Alright, so I'm going to move those that way. And this is my last one. I only picked two because uh, when I was going, touching them all, <laughs> they all felt the same. Well, and they, a lot of them felt the same. Yeah, they, were, they either felt like this one here or this one here, which was super flat. I was disappointed that a bunch of them were flat. So hopefully it's not disappointing on what's inside. Yeah, like they didn't put hardly anything inside. Yeah, like it is flat. So this is the last gamer bag. Let's see. Was this a bust? Here is another enamel pin. Yep, that looks like maybe Duck Hunt. I was going to say, or it looks Super Duck Mario Hunt. Brothers. I think it might be Duck Hunt. What do you guys think? There's the clouds right here. Here's the trees. It looks all pixelated. I'm looks like I'm just waiting for the ducks to fly through. Huh. I'm waiting so to see like, the pew pew. I'm waiting to see the dog pop up and. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the dog. <laughs> when you miss the ducks. Yeah. Oh, I got another of the coffee sleeves. Oh, so there's that. two of them from Shayna Bassler. Ew. This will come in handy if you live in a cold area and you go get your coffee from the the market or something. Or not the market, the... Um, Starbucks? Not even Starbucks, the gas station. Oh. Ooh, you bougie? You said Starbucks. Hey, at least I didn't say uh, the bean and, bean and tea leaf. Does anybody go there? Uh-huh. So, here's another enamel pin. Smash. So... It's supposed to be the symbol for button smashing. Yeah, you guys know what that's like when you're at the old school arcades. Go, 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 go! Oh, yeah. Street go Fighter. Or Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. Or, uh... This one came out. So, and I know I do that a lot to our arcade one-up. We have the Ninja Turtle one. Huh. So, and I beat Tim every time. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm just cool like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're not as cool as me. So. Because I'm not cool. I'm awesome. Whatever. <laughs> this will not stay in there. But this is uh, from Team Fortress 2. These are the collector set. There's four pins. There's the unicorn, red, blue, and the sandwich. So there's that right there. Let's see. I'll fix it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, who's awesome and who's cool? Oh my god. So that's oh all my god. <laughs> for my gamer bags. That was it. That's all that was that's it. That's all that you got. Yeah. Alright, last bag. And last bag and it's the superhero bag. So what do we got? Here. I feel like there's something else in there, but, uh... Oh, it's just that. Oh. It's like the puppet thing. Do you stop it? <laughs> All right, so we have a coin purse. I don't know what the heck that is. Looks like Pac-Man, and then it doesn't look like that. It's like Pac-Man with a little bandana on. Oh, that's a heart. <laughs> oh, my God. It's... I'm having a brain fart. Oh, got two of them. If you guys remember what cartoon... Um, I think it's a cartoon that this comes from. Write it down in the comments below. I'm like... She'll let you pick something out of one of these blind bags. Or maybe if you want one, I'll give you one. Just let me know. Uh, this looks familiar, but I don't know what the heck that is. Another enamel pin. Looks like Godzilla and a dude with a, a like screw a on his hand. No, I don't think so. Because, I mean, it, it says loot crate. And it doesn't say anything else. Yep. No hint. Nope. But it's a uh, King Kong riding Godzilla. That's so. what it looks like, but it's got like a drill yeah. on his hand. Kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. Yep. And then we got another Transformer 
It's a sound wave again. It's a wallet. It's a wallet. So let me open this. A wallet up. for a dude. Here's a coin purse for a chick. I have two of them. Or if you're a dude that you're like, I want to separate my coins from. I don't even know that people carry cash anymore, though. I know I don't. I just carry all my cards. <laughs> So let's see what this looks like. I think Tim has a new wallet. Nah. <laughs> oh, it's got the Velcro. Oh. So this is... It's reminiscent from when we were kids. Yeah, these are like the wallets we had when we were kids. You know, yeah. You put the coins in there. That you always lost anyway. And you always put your fake cards. Or your student... Garbage pal kids. Yeah, yeah. And then you had your student ID. We never had student IDs. Oh. I went to a ghetto school. Come on. And you have the student IDs that go right there. And then, of course, you got two spots for cash. Ooh. Look at that. One's a hidden spot. I don't know about or... hidden, but <laughs> yeah, you got two spots for cash. Put your little bills there and your big bills there. That's cool. Hmm. Fascinating. So this is everything that we got from the superhero blind bags and from the gamer blind bags. Um, Tim, your thoughts on the superhero bag? Um, H uh, purchase again or yeah, I no? would want I would want to go and see what uh, else they have. Um, these all three of these were different; they weren't uh, the same. So maybe the next time we did get them, they might be a couple repeats. Repeats. Same thing with the uh, gamer ones, huh? I'm going to say, so what are your thoughts on the gamer uh, blind bags? Mm, Pass or buy again? There's nothing I really want out of the blind bag, or the gamer bags. Okay. But, like I said, this is so, pretty cool. Um, This was pretty cool. I'm not going to use it, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, And then, uh, I don't know, maybe keep this pen. I don't know. So, honestly, in my opinion, I think the superhero and blind poster. bags are probably a go ahead and buy again, kind of like the pulp culture ones, where um, I just feel like there's more to it that they can, you know, add in some variety in there. As for the gamer bag, um, it's not that it's a pass. I would probably do a couple of more. Just, just to see if they start going and repeating. Yeah, because I can see the gamer bag eventually becoming a pass. Um, whereas if I find more superhero blind bags and the pulp culture ones, I am more inclined to pick those up for sure. I mean, if the gamer bags came with socks, hint, hint, NECA. Hmm. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. Like add in some Mario Brother socks or King Kong. Go a little old school that way. Um, other than that, it was a nice touch adding in some of the, the yeah, the slam crate items. Um, Tim didn't know what this was, so I'm pretty <laughs> sure a lot of people don't know what these are for. But I thought that was pretty cool. The luggage stuff is pretty cool. Um, I know they're gonna inundate us with all of their loot pins, the enamel pins. So, I mean, there's nothing we can do well, about yeah, that. Oh, yeah, it's the uh, stuff that people it's do. what they're want. known for as well. Yeah. So, um, for now, I would say they're both. Uh, go ahead and pick them up if you see them out at your local Best Buy or Target or uh, maybe even Walmart if they have them. GameStop, maybe. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. I haven't seen them there yet. I, I was going <laughs> to say Sam Goody or... <laughs> Sun Coast. <laughs> you so just aged us. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe my Fi, God. Uh, F I F I E. F Y E. F Y E. That's what I said. F Y E. <laughs> so this was it for our video. Thank you so much for staying with us this and long. And going and putting up with our stuff. Yeah. Our comedy. <laughs> this really is how we are. None of this were. Tim likes to use the code word that we have, yellow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we we have fun doing this. Mm -hmm. um, follow our Instagram. As long as I don't have to say yellow. Oh, my God. I won't tell you guys what it means because then you guys are going to start putting that in the... Oh, huh, wow. Maybe yellow. they'll start putting it in the, uh, huh, the comments. Explain <laughs> why we have the code word yellow. It's, uh, you know, remember, what was that called? Brittany? Save Britney mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. well, they told they, you know the whole what was it? Uh, blink your eyes twice if you're in trouble. Yeah, you would see her blink her eyes twice. Yeah, or <laughs> wear a wear a yellow 
uh, Rose. Yeah. And you so know. we kind of had adapted that <laughs> with the code word yellow. So if we go to a family function or a friend's house, we'll we're gonna get in trouble or if, for this. Or if she starts, <laughs> or if she starts yelling at me because he doesn't listen sometimes, and I'm just like yelling out the window, yellow. <laughs> And Sin was talking about putting shirts out that say, Save Tim. Hashtag Save yeah. Tim. <laughs> and on the back say, Yellow! <laughs> so that's kind of like our code word. Our little you... inside joke. Yeah. You guys are now inside. Yeah. And if you're a couple or if you're best friends, I would highly suggest you guys have a code word with like a random word in there. So that way when you guys are in like awkward situations or frustrated, okay. you have that code word to use. Like Cindy's other favorite word is astastic. <laughs> it is. Or craptacular. It is. <laughs> I have the potty words. He came up with code word yellow. Anyways, follow our Instagram, follow our YouTube. Um, Do the YouTube thing. Yeah, share, subscribe, like. Uh, comment. Leave a comment yellow down there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You, you know, if you like the show, put it, put it on. Put put yellow. And if and, you don't, if, if you guys like that idea of t-shirts that say hashtag, you know, save Tim, save Tim, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> let us know. Cindy can make some. I can. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for watching us so much. Tim, go ahead and close it out. Yeah. So you know, people. May talk, may, and they talk a lot of crap. If you collect toys, who mm -hmm. cares? As long as you enjoy collecting, like I said, um, if you like it, who cares? I mean, if, if you collect thimbles, yeah, some people collect spoons, uh, those little buttons. Yeah, so who cares? As long as you like it, as mm -hmm. long as it makes you feels good, who cares what they care about? It's not them paying the money for it. Exactly. So just buy what you like and enjoy it. Um, while you're out there doing your toy hunting, be careful because there are some weirdos that will try and jack you for your toys. Theodore Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows who, J J who knows who is Theodore Jenkins. But anyways, thank you so much and we will see you all next time. Later, pals.